single life in Canada is not for the weak. For black people like Jamaican, especially the men, Jamaican men, they want Chinese, black, Indian, everybody. They don't have, <laughs> yo, Jamaican guys. First of all, winter is almost like half of the, more than half of the year is cold weather. So imagine you're cool, you have to go to work, and then when you come home, you don't even have a partner to come home to. Right now, I wish it was 9 o'clock p.m. and I'm leaving work. Because right now, I just want to go back to sleep. Good morning, Jamaica. <laughs> Who remember that? It's Tuesday morning and I'm on my way to work. Hey, 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 my people. Wagwan, wagwan, everybody, we are cool. My birthday is next week, Wednesday. Next week, Wednesday. My birthday is next week, Wednesday. My birthday is next week, Wednesday, y'all. Less, no. Tomorrow is gonna be one week. What is that? I hope it's not a skunk. Yo, my birthday is next week, Wednesday, star. May I tell you, like, the time is moving. Um, like, I have, like, my week, this week, is fully booked. Like, fully booked. And I didn't even realize how booked it was until I'm like, wait, Wednesday, Thursday I have to do this, Friday, Saturday I have to do this, then Sunday. So the entire week is, like, booked. So I'm booked and busy guys. <laughs> Yesterday I ended up taking the wrong bus and then I had to walk like a mile. So today make sure I look at the right number. Because sometimes when you just oh my bus, my bus, my bus, my bus, my bus. Oh my gosh, we have the same bag. Hers is so cute. I like it so much. This is my bag, pink and white. So cute. So I'm 12 minutes early for work. Bam. How about that? How about that? Look at that plane. Let me see how far my phone can zoom. Fifteen times. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. That's crazy. I feel like I want to go to Starbucks, but I don't know. Should I go or should I not go? Should I go or should I not go? <laughs> All right. It's matcha. Matcha, sure. Hot one or ice one? Mm -hmm. Hot one or ice one? Ice size. And what size? Um, venti. But I have a specific one that I usually get. Sure. I don't remember. It has like a foam thing on top. Vanilla sweet cream cake Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything else for you? That's it. Okay. And do you want to scan for points or no? No, I don't have any. Can I have a name? Nayoka, N-I-O-K-A. And I'm going to pay by cash. You know that when I used to go to high school, this used to be my hairstyle. Every day I go to school like this. <laughs> yes, I look so cute. Oh, I think that's mine. Yeah. Thank you. See? Let me taste it. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, man, I still have five more minutes to reach the work, so I have plenty of time. This drink is tasty. I feel like they could put more matcha in it still. It's 
Starbucks is very expensive. One drink is for seven dollars. That's crazy. Right now, with seven dollars, I could get a sardine and maybe a small bag of rice. And maybe, what else can I get with that? Maybe a four fifty gram of rice, a sardine, and maybe a onion or a tomato with seven dollars yeah i think seven dollars can buy that that's a whole meal that can last me for the whole day and this thing is not gonna last me no time <laughs> sometimes you gotta treat yourself yeah man because why work every day hard and then you can't even buy yourself a juice no make no sense today is so hot I'm glad I'm inside in the AC because outside I think they have a heat warning. That's the, that's the thing with Canada like when it's hot it's hot and when it's cold it's very cold. Oh. The camera stress it yourself. You have eggs at chain? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you put 10, press 10, um, press correction first. If you take off that off, correction again, 10. And then you sit down at the bottom, that's where you see percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am done working. Freedom at last. Freedom at last. I just got home from work and let me tell you it's hot and humid outside like you see if it was hot and then you know some breeze even if it's hot breeze that's blowing then it would be a little bit okay right but it's hot and humid like it's hot and there's no breeze blowing at all i don't like that but you see because i was at work inside the, the ac i didn't know that outside was so hot like i could see people coming in and they look very hot and sweaty but you know i'm like okay it's summer so you i'm expecting that it's gonna be like that but boy man it's ridiculous how hot it is outside so thank god as soon as i step through the door the ac just slapped me and i'm like yeah nice and cool i want to talk about like dating in canada dating in canada for me personally guys if you come to canada or if you're in canada you already know um the single life single life is not nice in canada at all first of all winter is almost like half of the more than half of the year is cold weather so imagine you're cold you have to go to work and then when you come home you don't even have a partner to come home to that's crazy i'm telling you it's single life in canada is not for the weak because another thing is like people like okay let me speak from the female um perspective because i am a female so like for me as a woman being sing like as a single in canada it's hard because like from my experience being single in canada damn it's like people it's like people are always looking for somebody to use. Is either they want to use you for money or you they might want to use you because of your status in Canada. Also, they might want to use you just because you look pretty. They just want to use you and then they leave. So like people are always looking for something. It's both male and both female because just as a guy can be single and he's just genuinely looking for a girl but then pff, the girls out here they don't want nobody um to date they want somebody or marry they want somebody to just give them some money and pay for their eyelashes and hairstyle and everything like that on the other hand you have some genuine girls out there who's genuinely looking for somebody like to get married to and settle down but like it's like maybe it's just the type of people that are in the circle or in the area that i am going on a day-to-day -day basis maybe it's just those type of people but man and another thing is that you see because canada is so diverse you have black white asians 
you have different type of black people from different places you have african different africans from different countries in africa you have um, caribbean people different countries in the caribbean everybody have a different background so you see if i was in jamaica at least being in jamaica it's easier to for like a dating life or like a to, to find somebody to marry because in jamaica it's your people it's you like it's your people it's your jamaican people right so it's easy for you to find somebody quick but in canada like i could go a whole day and and for example like say say you have a a, a specific person that you like like you have your type right say like me i would want a, a black guy right it doesn't matter if he's jamaican or not but he, he has to be black right just as an example guys so if for example i said i want a black guy there could be i could go a whole day on the road and i don't see a black guy i could go a whole day on the road and i don't see a white person but you know so maybe you see asians you might see indians you might see um filipino you might be and usually with those asian people they usually stick to themselves so if you're a person who like asians and then you're not an asian you're maybe white or black or whatever asian people always stick together like most of the time if you see a filipino he's with a filipino girl or the girl filipino girl is with a filipino guy if it's a um chinese japanese vietnamese all of them they always want to date in their spec in their in their people like in their culture or in their from people from their country but like for black people like jamaican especially the men jamaican men they want chinese black indian everybody they don't have <laughs> yo jamaican guys or let me say caribbean guys like they don't have most of them don't have spec they just want to know that you're a woman and you're a female and that's it nothing else <laughs> but i'm telling you like dating in canada is not for the weak you have to make sure that you know you are very strong and you don't um you don't be desperate because once you be desperate that's where it ends because people will just use you and abuse you um if you're a guy and you're out there looking for somebody and you're single bruh just make sure that you don't fall for the little tricks for some of these females because some of them they're just there to take the little money that you have even when you don't have the money you know you just have maybe one five hundred dollar stash off in your savings account and you're like yo this is my one five hundred dollar you better not tell her that you have it because she will find a way to get it out of you especially if you're behaving desperate so guys just be careful out there man in canada and you people who are coming to canada bring your partner with you <laughs> because if you're coming here to look a partner oh you know the other uh last year i went to I, I i i finished working early and i said let me go just go take a walk i started walking downtown um on the waterfront so apparently downtown on the waterfront that's where guys go to look for girls like on summertime but not like winter time because nobody's at the waterfront during winter time like who's gonna go down there but like for summertime I hear that a lot of guys go down there just to look for females and females go down there to look for men. So I don't know if <laughs> guys, I have to do a video on this. I feel like I'm going to do a video on dating in Canada and I'll put it in, I'll put it together and you know, so it's more organized because right now I'm just bubbling. I'm just rumbling. I'm just in the mood to talk and I'm just talking, but I will do a specific video on this and give you guys more information. If you want to see, if you want to see me do a video on dating in Canada, maybe I'll even get some of my friends to be in the video so that they can give their own, um, like experience and point of view on the same topic. I feel like that would be a very good, good video. So I'm going to chat with a few of my friends and see if they are willing to like do a video on that, you know? So that that's something I'm going to do. So guys, stay tuned for that. Let me I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Just stay tuned for the video and if you really want to see the video on dating in Canada, please comment down below so that I am more motivated to really do the video. But I feel like that's going to be a very good video um and so that people who are not in Canada who are looking to come to Canada at least when you know that information if you're trying to if you're really cuz 
like some people out there like for me i'm getting older and for me i would want to get married settle down have kids and that that's me single life is not for me my the type of life that i look at for myself is a married woman with a ring palm of finger you know a big diamond a big diamond wait wait let me see yeah a big rock on my finger you know <laughs> yeah so expensive so expensive you like it oh look at that oh don't look at it too much because <laughs> I play too much i feel like that video would if i do this video at least if you're a person out there channel you know at least you can relate and then being that you got all that information then you can know make a plan based on what but definitely you know what i'm going to think about doing that video on dating in canada and i think it's gonna be a pretty video pretty awesome video especially if my friends agree that they're gonna be on video too but anyway guys enough of the rumble scramble scramble I am going to what's that sound I am going to take a shower finish doing my laundry and start editing this video right now so that tomorrow morning I can post it bright and early just like oh I posted the one today guys how are you liking the vlogs i hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs you know because like i'm telling you i'm going all out for this i'm doing my best like i'm so proud of myself today is what the 18 and i've been doing eight videos 18 days straight like a pro you know so like thank you for the support guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like up the video. Like up the video, guys. Click, when you click like on the video, that helped me a lot. When you leave a comment, that motivates me to put out more content. You know? So, like, and if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscription button. And I will see you tomorrow, as usual. You know? Bye.